What specifically, what are you dealing with? What area do you deal with? Mental health. Mental health. People with multiple diagnoses. Now, there's been talk that a lot of this is coming from the vaccine and the pharmaceutical industry. You know, prescribing those things that are, because I've talked to, I, I talked to a pharmaceutical salesman. And a pharmacist, one of his clients out here, was it about three weeks ago. And just in casual talk, they brought up to me without any coaxing or any this out of their way. That they do not take the drugs they sell and would never do that. Of course not. And when I come into parents or individuals who haven't started met psychotropic meds, I don't recommend it. Because once you start, you're stuck. Yeah. It's like it pulls you in. It's its own drug. It's its own drug. It's its own addictive drug. And then when they do, they may they may become diagnosed with something else. Because so what do you try to do? Get them off of that? So we try and do natural ways, counseling, uh, meditation, change of nutrition. Just things. Try those things first before yeah. you medicate. Because once you do, there's no going back. But is the is a, are there is or do you perceive is there a rise in mental disorders coming yes. from bad nutrition, coming from you know street drugs, coming yes, from vaccines, definitely coming street from drugs. definitely perhaps maybe vaccines. I don't have any real proof, but I've seen evidence. Well, I've got enough evidence of some talking to other nurses and, yeah, and, and parents out here. Yep, you know, I mean, evidence. it's word of mouth. The pharmaceutical kid, industry, was fine and these before, guys aren't going to tell us, yep. yeah, we've been poisoning you all your were life. My fine before they did this, so I'm not going to do that for my next child. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's by design? Do you think they're trying to get rid of us? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I think so. Population control. Yep. Absolutely. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Right? Uh, don't really, need to do this. Well, you got to think about it because, you, do, you, you know, if you, if you allow them to do this, it's all over. It's all over. Unless you're like completely I mean, we, got, we just, we just right. stood here and admitted to ourselves that they're lying to us. They lied to us about 9-11. They not lied to us about fluoride in the water. They lied to us about, you know, GMO food. So you lied to us about the poisoning of vaccines. They lied to us about those spraying us like bugs in the sky. We know they're killing us. So how can you not talk about that? How can you hide from it? You can't. There's nowhere to hide. Unless you're on the grid. Because if we do, if we're at that point right now, it's going to be, let's say the economy collapses next month. All of a sudden, there's no food anymore. They start coming around and say, oh, we got these FEMA camps we're going to put you in. But before you come in, just so you don't get sick. Here's the thing, yeah. It's a like the Rugs Hotel. It's a perfect thing. Instead of watching us into concentration camps and forcing us into the ovens, no, we just walk in and roll up our sleeves and smile on our face. Hey, give me the good thing there. They said it's good for me. So, I mean, we got to pay attention. We cannot... It's not going to be a festival anymore because we're at that point that they're, they're going to come and kill us. They're going to come down the street killing us. I, have, I hate they're blowing your entire vacation. Oh, no, not at all. We know that it's there. You just have to be aware. Be mindful.